Throughout human history, humans have pondered a profound question. Is everything in the universe somehow connected? This quest for understanding has taken two fascinating paths. One through ancient wisdom and another through modern science. And remarkably, they are beginning to tell us the same story. Think about a spider's web. When you touch one silken strand, the whole web vibrates. Another way to see it is that we often look at the ocean and see separate waves, when really it's all one body of water. This is what Sanatan Dharma, what is today also called Hinduism, has been telling us for thousands of years. Everything is connected. The ancient Hindu rishis explored these ideas through direct experience. When the Upanishads speak of Brahman, the ultimate reality that pervades everything, they weren't just speaking poetically. They were describing what they saw as the fundamental nature of reality, a deep, all-encompassing interconnectedness. Thousands of years later, in the 1930s, modern physics stumbled upon something that would shake our understanding of reality to its core. Scientists discovered two mind-bending phenomena that seem to echo these ancient insights. The first is quantum entanglement. When two particles become entangled, measuring a property of one instantly reveals the corresponding property of its partner no matter how far apart they are. For example, if you have two entangled electrons and measure one spin to be up, you know immediately that its partner's spin must be down. Even more fascinating is quantum superposition, where a single particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously until it is measured. It is as if a particle can be in two places at once or spin in opposite directions at the same time, until we look at it. At this tiniest level of reality, particles don't have definite properties until they're observed. They exist in a mysterious state of all possibilities at once. And this is where the boundaries between one state and another truly blur, where you can't really say where one possibility ends and another begins. Much like these quantum particles exist in multiple states at once, Hindu wisdom speaks of our soul or Atman existing in a similar state of infinite possibility between lives. Just as a particle's various states collapse into one reality when observed, the soul's multiple potentials crystallize into a specific life when karma determines its next birth. These quantum behaviors were so precise and immediate that they seemed impossible. Einstein was so troubled by them that he called quantum entanglement spooky action at a distance. What happened next would change our understanding of physics forever. In 1935, Einstein, Podolsky and Rosen published a paper trying to prove that quantum mechanics must be incomplete because these quantum behaviors seemed impossible. In their view, nothing could travel faster than light, and everything should have definite properties, whether we measure them or not. But in trying to disprove it, they accidentally helped discover one of nature's deepest mysteries. The plot thickened in 1964, when physicist John Bell figured out how to test whether Einstein was right or wrong. Bell's breakthrough was creating a mathematical way to prove whether particles could really influence each other instantly across any distance. The final proof came in 1982, when physicist Alain Aspect conducted these experiments using Bell's ideas. He showed that Einstein was wrong, quantum entanglement was real. This work was so revolutionary that Aspect and his colleagues won the Nobel Prize in 2022. What they proved was that at the quantum level, particles can maintain these instantaneous correlations that defy our everyday understanding of reality. 
Now here is the fascinating part. Modern physics and ancient wisdom are telling us the same story, just in different languages. Where quantum physicists talk about wave functions and probability clouds, Sanatana Dharma speaks of divine presence. Where physics describes entanglement and superposition, showing us a world where everything is interconnected and exists in multiple states simultaneously, ancient Hindu texts describe an all-pervading consciousness that transcends our ordinary notions of reality. Different words, the same truth. Everything is connected at a fundamental level. The boundaries we draw between things, animate and inanimate, separate and connected, individual and whole, might be more about our limited human perspective than about reality itself. It's like we have been drawing lines on water, trying to separate what can't really be separated. But here is the bigger question this raises. If a millennia-old tradition and modern quantum physics are both pointing to the same truth, that everything is fundamentally connected and transcends our ordinary understanding of reality, what else might we be missing about the nature of reality? Perhaps we are just beginning to understand what the sages of old already knew, that the universe is far more interconnected, far more mysterious and far more remarkable than we ever imagined.